Justice Bill Browder. He was actually once the largest foreign investor in Russia. Uh, now, of course, a wanted man by Putin. Bill, I always appreciate speaking to you. And I want to start with something that I know you understand better than almost anyone. That St. Petersburg official that I spoke with earlier today is now in exile in Georgia. But he's speaking out, signed a letter asking Putin to free Alexei Navalny, demanding Russians have the, the rights that they deserve. And he told me some who signed that letter are still in Russia. How fearful are you for all of these people's safety? Very fearful. <clears throat> Basically, there, there's no... Uh, uh, willingness on the Putin regime to tolerate any dissent. Anybody who says anything like that will be put on a list and those people will become targets. And so I would imagine that if anyone who signed that letter is still in Russia, then they'll be a target to either be arrested or perhaps worse. And you also heard Dmitry say that he and others who signed the letter who, who are, are not in Russia, and of course, many of them like he are in countries that are very friendly to Russia, uh, they're looking forward to returning. But they need Ru uh, Putin's regime to fall first. That's how he put it. And then he told me something else about Alexei Navalny. I want to play that for you, Bill. Navalny is slowly dying in prison right now. But I hope that uh, he's strong enough to survive until uh, something changes in Russia. And basically, I think he's in prison until Putin is in power. From what you see, Bill, do you see a day anytime soon in the context of this war and all the failures where Putin's regime actually falls? Then Navalny is free. Dmitry and others can return. Is that day near? Well, it's a possibility, but I, I would I hate to say it's a it's a low possibility. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, for, for example, if if Ukraine could push Russia out of Crimea. Crimea was such an important thing for Putin. That might be the kind of thing that would lead to the Putin regime fracturing and falling. But you also have to understand that, that if, if for some reason that were to happen, Putin would probably lose his life. And Putin is, is such a scared little man right now, so scared for his own life that he's ready to sacrifice the lives of hundreds of thousands, perhaps even millions of men, um, to keep this war going, to keep himself from being defeated. And so that, that's why I say it's a low probability event that the regime falls because Putin will hang on for dear life and he'll put so much at stake in the meantime. And of course, assassinations inside Russia, outside Russia, using poison is sort of a signature. Uh, to calling card for, for Putin's forces. Navalny, not the only Putin enemy who has been poisoned. And I actually spoke recently uh, to the lawyer and also to the son of the former president of Georgia, Mikhail Shakashvili, who is, of course, a foe of Putin. And uh, they say he's been poisoned by Putin. They did DNA testing. Uh, they said his arsenic levels were high. They found a whole lot of other things as well. Um, I just want to show everyone a picture of Shakashvili one year ago on the left. On the right, there he is recently. He's in prison in Georgia on abuse of power charges, uh, which he says are, 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 are false um, and politically motivated. But I wanted to share with you, Bill, a letter that I got, a moving note that I got from Saakashvili after I spoke with his lawyer. And I've known uh, Mr. Saakashvili for a long time. You can see from the handwriting here, um, and that's part of what's hard to watch here. He suffered physical repercussions, and it is hard to look at that, uh, and, and people can read it. He writes, I really regret that he didn't see me in Kyiv as I had already gone on my ill-fated trip. Bill, do you have any hope that Mikhail Saakashvili will be freed and survive? Well, I mean, what, what, I, what I see is, is something truly horrific and heartbreaking. Um, it, this is a politically motivated arrest. He's being tortured in prison. The images that, that you've shown are deeply disturbing. I've lived through a similar situation with my lawyer, Sergei Magnitsky, who started out healthy and ended up being tortured to death in prison, denied medical care, dying in prison. And so for me, this is deja vu. And when I saw those images of Mikhail Saakashvili, um, uh, I, I spoke out. And um, since then, his team has been in touch with me, um, asking for my help, asking, for, begging for my help to do anything that I can do to help them um, get him out of prison. And it seems to me that, that he's being held, um, I, th I believe, at the behest of Russia. Vladimir Putin has hated Saakashvili since Saakashvili stood up to Putin in 2008 when Russia invaded Georgia. And Putin, he never forgets. 
He's a vindictive little man who never forgets. And and uh, what Georgia has to do right now is release Saakashvili to the West so he can be treated properly and he doesn't die. Because if he were to die in prison, I believe that this would change the West's view of Georgia for many generations. 